It's now 2020, and there are still people crying about the rising of the shield hero. We're going to be hopping over to Niannet. Have a right up here talking about this. A certain anime-related news website made a segment titled The Worst Anime of 2019. A anime journo wrote an opinion on that segment claiming that The Rising of the Shield Hero is the worst anime of 2019. Now, I'm not going to go through the full review because it's very nonsensical. It would be a waste of time. And also, this company has a history of going after people for copyright. So if they were to come after me this time, again, they lost the first time, they would lose again this time. But this is such pure fair use, I only have about two statements out of their entire review here. You won't get the full context of their review here. But this is what stands out the most to me. One segment of that review says, If I'm calling an anime the worst of the year, it's not sufficient that it merely be a bad show. It needs to be something actively politically awful. Politically awful. This anime journo <laughs> straight up tells us that part of what they look at in critiquing anime is how it relates to politics. This is the exact thing that we are fighting against. We want your politics out of our entertainment. We do not want to be used by people that are just trying to enter this industry. Companies like Funimation changing the dubs and this sort of thing. They are using the industry. They are using the fans. They are using the community to drive their very biased, very opinionated ideals on real world politics. It's disgusting. And this statement to me makes it blatantly clear that that's the case literally writing that it can't just be a bad anime to be called worst of the year it also needs to be politically awful well guess what you shouldn't be looking at politics and how it relates to anime to judge uh to review an anime it's ridiculous so i cite funimation here there's a good video if you want to take a look at that one <laughs> don't know how long we can keep that on the screen hopefully everything's fine another statement that was made in that write-up is with a premise predicated on a glorification of misogyny and slavery, it earns all the ire directed towards. This is a very weird statement, and I've seen other reviews also writing similar things. For example, Anime Feminist is a website that wrote, Our readers know why a series hinging on a false accusation and slavery apologism is wrong. This is very weird for anyone who's actually seen The Rising of the Shield Hero, which I sure would hope these people reviewing it have at least seen it. It seems like they're implying that they have. Some of the strongest characters in The Rising of the Shield Hero are females. The Queen of Meldramark, female. Glass, arguably the strongest hero introduced in the anime, also a female. Now Fumi's entire team. Without them, he'd probably have failed. He'd probably be gone. He'd be R.I.P. His team, Raftalia, Philo. Uh, you could put Melty in there, I guess, temporarily. These are female characters helping the main character. He would have failed without their help. So it seems very disingenuous that you have anime journalists and websites labeling shield hero all these buzzwords seems so disingenuous and like we see this happen in the gaming industry a lot you will have people gaming journos play games for like 30 minutes to find something to critique about it and i don't mean gameplay wise i mean politically wise then they'll write their little review on kotaku or whatever and start saying that this is a bad game because it has a certain theme in it it's like they go out of their way to try to skew the opinions of the viewers. It's disgusting to me. It feels like propaganda. It's disgusting and sick, and it must be cleansed. On that note, I'd like to thank all of you for your time. I find a great pleasure in fighting back against this kind of disgusting stuff. I really do. And without your help, without you tuning in, I would be getting nowhere. I wouldn't be able to do this. Together, I think we are pushing back against this kind of nonsense, and it makes me very, very happy. This is a short segment, and I'd like to give a shout out now to the kind people who promoted yesterday's video. Thank you, Lancaster Kid, Amethyst Sukiyama, Bruno, Nameless Hates, Jason's Voice, Ishra Blackwolf, KJ Collins, Mr. Anime 343, Tenshi Yuki, One Episode Left of Rue Volume 7, aka Blazian Domo, Intimidator 0108, Kajin, uh, Kajin Bowser, Kajin Bowser, and Joshua B. Thank you all very much again. Much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed this segment as well. And I'll see you next time.